Hey, what's up everybody? Kyle Buckland here with The Artful Souls. I um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about being here now and how being present in the moment can help our art. Uh, so when this video started, there was a slight delay and, um, you know, for a second you probably thought, oh, he doesn't know the video is recording or uh, he's having technical difficulties. Um, but there was probably even a moment before that where you were waiting for me to start talking um, but there was absolutely nothing happening and your brain probably wasn't thinking too much um, and something magical probably happened in that in that split second and that is that you were completely present with the moment um, so what I mean by that is that you weren't uh, distracted by inner dialogue um, and that you were completely aware of what was happening um, in, in that very moment so um, when I say inner dialogue, you know, we all have the, the voice in our head and you might be thinking, well, what voice? And it's actually that voice. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're constantly bombarded by thoughts throughout the day. Uh, we often think that we have thoughts, um, but it's more accurate probably to say that thoughts happen to us. Um, and you can illustrate this to yourself by trying to not have a thought. So uh, let's just for a moment uh, see what happens if we try to not have a thought. So I'll just stop talking for a minute and uh, you go ahead and attempt to not have a thought. It probably didn't take long for your brain to either think about something or to think about whether or not you're thinking about something which is a thought too um, so <laughs> uh, one way we can do this is by um, just focusing on our breath so this is a great exercise and if we just take a moment to stop for a second and take a big breath in and breath out and while we're breathing just pay attention to your breath as it travels into your body um, you know pay attention to the point where the air enters your nose if we're breathing in through our nose and then maybe exhale through our mouth and, and watch the breath as it comes out of our mouth uh, pay attention to the way your body feels as you breathe so uh, when you breathe in you know your chest will expand and then as you breathe out your chest will contract so if we just take a moment to take one simple breath and see if we can just stay present with that breath while we breathe. Um, when we do that, something magical happens because, like I said before, we're, we're staying in the moment, so we're not distracted by our thoughts. Um, this practice is really at the heart of noticing things. Um, so I often say that people see just as just enough to keep from running into walls and I think that's true we're all on autopilot and we go throughout the day and we're careful not to run into things but we're not really paying attention to what's going on around us um, and at the heart of being an artist is learning how to pay attention to things because we want to accumulate a store bank of knowledge of experiences of memories of associations that we can draw on when we're when we're creating our artwork so really by being here now, and when I say being here now, I mean being in the present moment, it can really help us uh, be, become better artists. So I think this is, you know, what is often described to as being in the zone uh, is almost like an extended period of this present moment awareness. So when we're painting, when we really get into that magical spot where the, the painting almost seems to paint itself uh, and we're making less and less conscious decisions and we're sort of we're, we're going into our subconscious decision making um, and we feel that we're in the creative zone uh, what's actually happening is we're coming into the present moment and we're staying present uh, with that moment as we work so that's really important another exercise to do this uh, is to see if you can you know, for the most part, I think most of us feel like we're probably in our heads. So what I mean is if you ask yourself, where am I located in my body? Um, you're probably going to feel like you're somewhere behind your eyes uh, or in the top of your head maybe because that's where our, our consciousness resides. That's where our brain is. Um, but, you know, see if you can be in your hands. And uh, a good way to do this is to uh, hold your hands up and close your eyes and ask yourself, how do I know my hands are still there? 
So in order to do that, you have to feel them, but you're not feeling them from the outside. You're taking your intention into your hands. So you're moving the attention away from your mind and your head and your eyes and moving them into your hands. Now, a continuation of this exercise, we could say, okay, well, can we be in our feet? Can you move your attention from your head to your feet? Now we're going to do something else. Now let's move our attention from our head to our hands, and we'll hold it there for a moment, and then we'll move it to our feet. So go ahead and try that now. Now can you bring it back to your hands? Now can you move it back into your head? So oftentimes by just breaking the patterns of uh, regular awareness, we can propel ourselves into present moment awareness. Now let's try a few more techniques to bring ourselves into the present moment. I want you to take just a second and we're going to pay attention to all the sounds that we hear. So these could be sounds on the video. Uh, there are lots of spring birds starting to chirp now. Uh, maybe a little bit of the wind rustling in the video. Or there might be sounds going on wherever you're watching this video. Uh, so just take a moment now and let's listen to all the sounds. If you want to close your eyes, you can do that. Sometimes that helps. Now let's add in any smells that we might be smelling. Maybe somebody's cooked some food recently, or maybe you're outside and you can smell the, the smell of the grass or the earth. Now, while we're listening to the sounds and smelling the smells, I want you to see, is there anything that you can feel on your skin? Maybe the, the feeling of the, the couch that you're sitting on up against your skin or the feeling of your clothing on your skin? And have you eaten something recently? Is there a flavor in your mouth? Are you chewing any gum? Um, do you have something that you're drinking? Can you taste something while doing this? And last but not least, let's take a look around now and notice everything that we're seeing. Uh, and try to do this without labeling it. So instead of looking over at your coffee table and saying, there's my coffee table, just look at it and try to see what it looks like without labeling it. So at this point, we should be engaging all of our senses. This is really important too. Because often we will label something and we will think that we know what it is when we're painting. So we'll look at an old house and we'll go, that's an old house, I know what an old house looks like. And we'll stop painting what things really look like. Um, so when we can bring ourselves into the present moment while we're painting, it causes us to really have to pay attention to what things look like. Uh, the way that the light affects them. Uh, you know, and this is, this is a great practice not only for your art, but for your everyday uh, well-being. Um, oftentimes when we get stressed out or if we get uh, in a bad mood, we can break that cycle by coming into the present moment. So the next time you're feeling frustrated, whether you're frustrated with your painting or maybe a relationship uh, issue or, or just you know general stress of the day, see if you can take yourself out of your head and move yourself into your feet. And hold yourself in your feet for a moment and then bring yourself back up. Uh, and then if you move your attention down sort of methodically from your head to your feet and then back up to your head and try to be in all the different areas of your body as you do this. This is what's called a body scan. So this is a great way to break the cycle of thinking, to pull yourself into the present moment, to break a, a cycle of negativity or stress. Um, there's just so many benefits to this um, that you know aren't even necessarily related to art. But you will find that by practicing being in the present moment, you can definitely improve your painting. Because as I've said before, 
all we're doing when we're out painting is we're paying attention to things. We're looking at things, we're seeing how these things make us feel, and then we're translating that experience into our art. Um, you know, another word for being in the present moment is meditation, uh, but there are a lot of associations with meditation that aren't necessary. So we don't have to be sitting cross-legged, uh, you know, on a rug with candles burning and, and chimes ringing in order to meditate. This could be something that you do um, just throughout the day, you know, next time you're waiting in line or uh, you have a couple free free minutes, you know, whether you're, um, you know, just out somewhere or in the car and you're stopped at a red light. Um, just take some time to be present and to, to experience what you're experiencing and uh, it'll open up a whole new dimension to your, to your reality. Uh, so thanks so much for watching here. This will conclude my art musing for today. I appreciate all the, the new subscribers and old subscribers. We've got lots of new subscribers. We're, we're um, on our way to having uh, 7,500 subscribers, so that's awesome. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so below. Uh, click subscribe and, and click the bell for notifications. Also, if you want uh, extra content, if you like what you're seeing on here, uh, if you like the demos and... and um, the art musing videos and you'd just like to have more content, uh, check out my Patreon page in the link um, below. I've got the description there. For just a dollar a month you can sign up to become a patron and you'll have access to um, book recommendations, uh, you know, art instruction book recommendations, uh, I've got some art exercises on there, additional full-length demos, um, art product recommendations so uh, even some behind the scenes footage I'll be putting on there so uh, lots of good stuff on there check it out it's just a dollar a month and um, you know like share subscribe I appreciate everybody tuning in and watching the videos and I look forward to bringing you more content get out there push some paint around have fun happy painting and I'll see you soon